Hello everybody, welcome to my video today. We're gonna make something. I'm gonna chat with you guys for a few minutes. I'm gonna show you this disaster. I have been stamping all morning. So let's just take a look. I have stamps out, I have dies out. I think I have like seven or eight dies out that I've been using. We are definitely gonna use the big shot. I have nothing prepared for the card we're going to make, so we're just going to wing it, and hopefully we can do that. So I'm looking for the one that, okay, hey Chris, I know, right? So it is a disaster, so let's just take a peek at it. Boom, look at this. Oh, now my now Facebook is freaking out and saying, don't rotate your phone while you're on here. And then there's dyes everywhere. Look, it's a mess. But it's a crafty goodness mess. Okay, so let me get you guys all set up. Um, And that's not even the half of it, Chris. Like, over here, there's like, look at all these dyes that are out. Like... I mean, I'm telling you guys, I went to town today. I have all these dies out. They're all stacked right here because I was making stuff. I have no idea where these belong. And then nobody tell Chris, even though she's on here, all these stamps haven't been cleaned. They're still on blocks. Look, stuck to the bottom. I cannot be bothered to clean up right now, you guys. We have to create. Look, more dies. I gotta stack all these so that I can put them away. Ribbon, lighters, markers. You guys, it got real. Hey, Donna. I know, I'm freaking out a little bit, but I was like, cancel the live and clean up or craft some more. Let's craft some more. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a tip. You guys ready? Okay, so I'm just gonna move all this stuff. I promise I'll clean my stamps, Chris, as soon as we're done, I promise. Look, here's more dies set those there okay so now we have some space we're gonna start out with a fun tip that I've been wanting to show you guys look I even have wax paper out okay hey Donna watching from Australia yes I am in Kylie's training group now I just signed up I had a conversation with Kylie. I love her. I followed her for a long time and she's done some training for team stuff for our team, a couple different team things. And I really adore her. And so um, I need to shake things up a little bit, you guys. I need to shake things up. So I joined Kylie's training group. Okay, so here's another die. Okay, let's start with the, so the dies we're gonna need I'm going to need these dies. The project we're going to do is using this stamp set, which I got like, uh, oh, I won't be going on Greece, Donna. I don't travel out of the country. <laughs> so I earned Greece, but I did, I'm not, I don't travel out of the country. <laughs> hmm. So maybe when the next trip is, well, Maui, maybe Maui. <laughs> so I got this stamp set. Um, how long ago? Maybe two months ago. I just had to have it. I've not used it. So we're going to use this today. And then we're also going to use the dies. And I think I'm going to use festive farmhouse, but I want to start out sharing a tip with you guys. So I've been wanting to do a video on this and I'm still going to do like a normal video, I think, but I'm going to share with you guys first. Sorry, knocked a bunch of stuff over. Okay. Okay, so you guys ready? I found this, this right here at Walmart. And these are fun, fun foam is what they're called. So have you guys seen these before? I have black here and I have white. And you can get a pack, um, it was actually, it would have been probably cheaper to get these in the pack that came, and the pack was like, I think they were like, 
I want to say like six by eight, but they were all different colors and I did not want funky yellow and funky reds. Like I just wanted white actually, but I couldn't find like a pack together that was just white. So I found these individual sheets and they're a little bit thick. See how they're a little bit thick? And they're called foam sheets. They're nine by 12 inches. And so I thought, oh, well, I'll get a black, I'll get some black and I'll get some white. And what I want to do with these is I want to create my own like pop dots, basically, is what I want to create. So I really like the 3M tape. You guys have probably seen me use that and it's on a roll. And I really like that because it's thicker than the dimensional, not thicker as in wider is what I'm saying, not necessarily thicker. So I like the 3M because it's wider and it doesn't take forever to peel off all these little tiny individual pieces, but it's really expensive. It's like $10 a roll and I got lucky one time and I found a bunch on clearance and I bought them and then when I ran out I was like, I cannot, I cannot spend $10 on this stuff. So I've been kind of looking for an alternative. I love the dimensionals, but when I'm doing lives like this or when I'm doing a online class or something like that, it just takes forever to peel all of the backings off when I need a lot of them. So I picked up these. Now I've seen people use this fun foam for this technique. This is not like a technique. I didn't figure it out. I'm not a rocket scientist. I didn't figure this out. I've seen people do it. But what I did have the idea for is to take our full adhesive sheets. So we sell these full adhesive sheets. And I thought, why not get some of this foam, this foam stuff. I'm trying to find the opening. And put the adhesive on here. Hey, hey Angie, how are you? Okay, so this is, we sell these. They're 9 by 12. They're from Sizzix. And they are double-sided adhesive, basically. So what you do is, what these are really nice for is when you have a die, like an intricate die, and you can use this stuff, and then your die is already, has all the adhesive on it. So what I've been doing, I've already made some of these to try it out, is and I just got an order in from Stampin' Up this week and I ordered a whole bunch of these. I ordered like three packs of this adhesive. And so what you do, can you guys see that? I don't have my light on. So this is very, very sticky. So you gotta be really careful when you peel that backing off. It's going to be really sticky. So this is perfect because it's nine by 12. So you just lay that down there. Just like so. And then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead. It's really easy to cut. And I've just been cutting this in half. So it's like two six by six pieces basically. That's how I've been storing it. Okay. So I have a whole bunch of this. I have a whole bunch of white and black ones. And you can see I just have them stored in this container. And then I cut them up and then I have them stored in this little container right in front of me. So you can see I have a bunch in here. This is like where I keep my adhesive and little die pieces. But if I have extra little pieces, I'll just throw them in this little dish and then I can use them. So I'm probably gonna use those today on my project, but I wanted to show you guys, I've been wanting to show you that. So I feel like, and then what I'll do is I'll just do another one of these and I'll stick it on here. Probably like two of these will fit on one sheet, so that'll be perfect. And then when I use this, I just peel off the back. Now you could put adhesive on both sides. So then you just peeled it off. What I've been doing is just leaving the adhesive on one side, then I peel this off, and then I just use the liquid glue on this piece, like my mono glue on it. So I did a bunch of those in um, black and white. 
So I thought I would share that with you guys. And I'll do a regular video so it's, and I can explain it a little bit better. Um, but I just thought it'd be a fun tip to share with you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these stamps right here and this die. And so what I want to do is grab some crumb cake cardstock. And our color scheme is going to be crumb cake and old olive. And maybe, maybe early espresso if I have a piece. So this is our, oh, this is Regal's. Do I not have any neutrals? Oh, here's neutrals. Okay. So this is our six by six designer paper in our basic designs. And you can see it's just polka dots and stripes. And I'm going to grab out a piece of early espresso. And I just happen to be using that, the basics for the projects that I've been working on this morning. So that's why they're there. So let's go ahead and start putting this together. So we'll set all of this aside and we're going to start, I'm gonna have to do everything with you guys because I didn't prep anything. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut the crumb cake in half at four and a quarter. Okay, so one of that is gonna be our card base. Then we're gonna take the other piece and we're gonna cut at four inches and then at five and a quarter. And I'll have a PDF for you guys later today with all of the measurements, a picture of the project, and all of the supplies I used. I just didn't get around to that this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna have to dig for some stuff. Here's my nail file. And I'm just going to clean up the edges of my cardstock because they're quite frayed. I have not changed my blade and my trimmer in a while. Okay, so then we'll fold this in half. Do you guys need lights on, do you think? Let me turn the lights on and see if it helps a little bit. You guys tell me if that is better. I think it probably is. Okay, so here's our card. And then this piece is going to go right over the top, right? So a couple things. We need our Stamparatus. We're going to put... Hmm. So I wonder how you do this when you want the whole thing covered. First, let's see if it will cover the whole face of the card. It will. So I think I'm going to have to put a little bit of adhesive down to hold this. And then I'll use my magnets on the paper. And then what we're gonna do is lay this on that. And then we'll swing this over. And hopefully that's straight. So then I wanna use early espresso. I'm missing a couple comments. Let me just double check. Nope, I think I'm good. Okay, so now I just have my early espresso and I'm going to ink this whole thing up. And clearly, I need to re ink my early espresso ink pad. Hopefully that's not a problem. 
Okay, so I want the whole thing to be inked. And then we'll bring this back over. This is the great thing about the Stamparatus. And I'm just going to... And I just need to clean. I used my Stamparatus earlier and I just need to clean that. Look at how perfect it is. Oh my gosh, don't you guys just love it? Okay, so we're all done. That's our project for today. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I think I can just get this adhesive off my card, actually. The snail, if you just kind of rub your hand over it, it tends to come off. And then I'll use a... Um, I will use a adhesive thing to remove that. So here's this, okay, so that's our card front. So now what I wanna do is bring this over and we have to clean the stamp because we're gonna use a different color. So I'm just gonna take one of these wipes, which will be great to have out since my space is so messy. Anyways. And we'll just clean this. I really prefer to use the Stampin' Scrub. That's my preferred method of cleaning my stamps. But this will have to do for this minute. Okay, and then just to make sure. So one thing I did the other day is I did this where I cleaned the stamp. And hey Natalie, I've gotten several emails from you and I promise I'm going to email you back. It's just been a little bit crazy, but I promise I've gotten your emails and I'm going to email you back. So the other day I did this where I cleaned my, I cleaned a background stamp. It was when I was using the Beth Buffalo check and I cleaned it to stamp again and I left this wet and then I stamped and it ruined my project. So you're just gonna wanna be really careful and make sure your stamp is dry when you're doing that. So again, I'm gonna have to use a little bit of adhesive. And this won't matter because it's gonna be a layer anyways. So it won't matter if there's adhesive on the back of it. And then I'm pretty sure this is dry. I don't like the chamois. I, it gives me, it's like chalk, nails on a chalkboard. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. I can't touch them. I can't use it, like even talking about it right now, like I'm starting to twitch. I don't even like being at the same table with people using them. Isn't that crazy? I think that they're they're amazing. They work great. I had one way before Stampin' Up! came out with one. I had the Lawn Fawn one. Um, it was given to me as a gift and I hated it. And I never used it after I opened it because of the feel of it. But lots of people love them. Um, I also had an experience at a class where they were being used and for whatever reason, um, it was a purple ink pad and for whatever reason, I don't know exactly what happened. I wasn't at the table when it happened, but something happened and they used it to clean something up and the whole thing was soaked in ink and it just like, because it absorbs that and there's like nowhere for it to go it's that like then everybody who touched it everything they used on it afterwards um became purple like it was a nightmare um which I don't know necessarily would happen if you weren't in a class setting um but it was just like one more thing where I was like nope can't do it so we're gonna use crumb cake this is gonna be a tone on tone effect um but if you if you use it and you love them um, that's great. I just personally, it's just like one of those personal preference things, um, that I just can't seem to like do. Like I can't, I can't deal with it. This ink pad is very juicy. No needing to ink this up. And I've heard great things about the Stampin' Up! one. Everybody who uses it loves, you know, loves it. So I think it's just as good as the other ones that were out on the market. I just prefer the scrubs, so I prefer using this as opposed to anything else. So that crumb cake, I just took and inked it up, and then I'm just stamping down on the crumb cake cardstock. And you can see that that crumb cake ink pad was really 
juicy. So the, that's the great thing. What I just did with this is the great thing about the Stamparatus. This por portion of my image did not get stamped. So I was able to just close it again and, and push down and make sure that it all got covered. So that's why I love my Stamparatus. I love my Misty. I have both. My Stamparatus is a little bit smaller than my Misty. So that's why I tend to grab it on a regular basis. This is my Misty. So especially if I'm on camera, I don't have a lot of room between the camera and here. So a lot of times that's why I grab it. Um, but I love both of them. I use both of them on a very regular basis. Okay, so let's set the Stamparatus aside, and I promise I'll clean that stamp later. Let's put away crumb cake. Okay, now here's where it's going to get tricky because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim another tiny bit off here. So what I originally had done was I had taken a quarter inch off. So what I think I'm going to do is just make it to where it's a half inch because I just really want the different colors for what I stamped. I want that early espresso to show through. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Okay, so now we're going to use this thing, the stuff that I made. So here's the white and um, I've been using it this morning. So now what I'm going to do is you can see how easy it is. I just pull that off and I'm going to attach it right here. And I just feel like this is so much easier than using a million dimensionals. Okay. And then I can keep all these other little pieces. Okay, so this is going to go in here. I'm not going to attach anything yet, okay? And then my early espresso piece, I'm going to do like an inch. Uh, maybe like an inch and a half. So we'll cut this at an inch and a half, and then we'll need it. I know I'm off camera. I'm over here, guys. And then we'll need this by four and a quarter. Okay. And then I'm feeling like I might need maybe some ribbon on this or something. I don't have any early espresso ribbon. So I'm not going to attach anything because I'm feeling like this is kind of turning out weird. So what I want to do is I'm going to cut my old olive. This is the next color we're going to use. You know what? I have an idea. Let's do four by five and a quarter. I'm thinking that it's going to be better if I do this little bit of green. So see, that's why I didn't want to attach anything because when I haven't planned out my design, I'm not always positive what's happening. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm going to really want this pop of green. I think it's going to break it up better. Okay, so now we can just, oh, we're not peeling. We're using the mono glue. So then I just add a little bit of glue to this. And the other great thing about doing this is when you add your layer and you have that glue, you have a little bit of wiggle room. So see how I can kind of wiggle this around still to make sure that I line it up properly. So I'm really liking that as well. So we're just going to leave that down like that. And then I think that's gonna make a difference. Just like so. Okay, so let's set that aside. And then we need a piece of old olive and we're going to do some more tone on tone. So we're going to use this piece, the stamps right here. See, now I'm getting a whole bunch of other ideas that I wasn't planning on. Okay. So this can just go in the corner here. It's not going to matter. 
because we're going to cut it out anyways. I have so many stamp sets laying around here that are not cleaned, you guys. Chris has got me on this in this habit, so this horrible habit of cleaning my stamps right when I'm done with them. And so now I'm kind of freaking out. Okay. Okay, so now we have this piece here. And then I'm going to do Old Olive. So we're doing tone on tone again. I don't know. I'm just on this kick today. Like every card I've made today has had this tone on tone effect. Okay, so we'll ink this up in Old Olive. stamp it down and that's stamped pretty good I think I'm gonna ink it up again and just stamp it so it's I can see some of the places I didn't get it stamped really well so we'll just again great thing about the stamparatus so Okay, so we have that stamped. Oh, see, that's perfect. Okay, now we gotta find one of these dies. I think this largest one. This is the layering squares. So it's the lay layering squares and these are the scalloped set. And I used a bunch of these this morning. I think I'm gonna, the largest one will work. And what we're gonna do is just cut this out. So let me bring my Big Shot over here because I have no room where it normally is. Okay. Can you guys kind of see? So we'll lay this down here and we will place this over. Now I have my magnetic plate on here so this sticks really well, like my die just grabbed to the plate. Okay. I'm going to risk it and just run it through. I'm not using any washi tape or anything to hold it down. So we're going to hope it does okay. And I think it did. Okay. And then what I want to do, since I already have my big shot over here, I wonder if I should do crumb cake and then I want this. So let's try this. I don't know if this is, I don't know if I'll use this piece, but I might as well cut it while I'm cutting. Okay. Okay. So I have my two pieces now. So now let's put this card together. Okay, so we have this piece, and we're going to use the joy out of this. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so let's use the joy. Right there. And we'll stamp this in early espresso. And really, I'm trying, I'm working hard to get some early espresso in this card. So let's do early espresso. Are you guys still with me? Okay, here's Joy. And that stamped pretty good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to grab our old olive blend marker. And on some of these leaves, we're going to color them in. Which is kind of crazy, don't you think? To be kind of coloring. I wonder if I should just color them all in. And then I wonder if my, do I have a light? 
old olive. It's pineapple punch. I wonder if it would make a big difference. Light old olive. Let's see. Oh, it does. I actually kind of like doing the light better because then you can go over it and actually maybe do give it like a two-tone effect. Let's do that. Sometimes you've just got to play around and experiment. Look, what do you guys think? The nice thing is with your blends on cardstock, it's a little bit thicker. I don't know that it makes a huge difference. I think we'll just continue on with the dark, but it doesn't hurt to try things. The cardstock is definitely going to soak up your blends, though. You might, if you did a lot of this this way, you really might have to replace your blend. It might dry it out quicker. Oh, this is the stuff I would speed through. Can't do that on a live, and it makes me nervous. My hand's getting shaky. I just went out of the lines. Which I guess isn't horrible. This is a relatively simple design, but it has a couple details that it's really going to make it pop. This might even be a really good Thanksgiving type card if you changed the sentiment around. These colors would probably be really nice for that. Sorry guys, somebody's texting me. And my computer's up really loud. Oh see, I got nervous because I got a text and I went out of the line. Hey Bridget. Hey Joanne. I just saw you popped on here. It's real quiet because I'm coloring and concentrating. How many fans, how many people on here are fans of coloring? I'm not a huge fan of it. I think this is really tedious. Like I feel like kind of annoyed at it actually. It's not relaxing to me. I mean like that's, there's like that thing like Oh, you know, like if you have anxiety, you should color. I don't know how that's supposed to help you. Okay, almost, guys. Almost done. Now the question is, what am I going to do with these dots that are supposed to be red since I <laughs> stamped on green cardstock? I don't have any red rhinestones either. Chris said she loves to color. It's so stressful for me, I think. Okay, so let's add. I wonder if I could use a colored pencil to add to that. No, because it's green. If it was on crumb cake, I probably could. Okay, so then we have our early espresso piece. I, I don't know. I had this, this thought for this card, and then... I'm not sure that it's very good, you guys. Okay, so let's add this piece. I don't know. Sometimes things don't turn out the way they were in your head. Okay. Let's use the grid mat to line this hot mess up. Uh, okay. So then what I want to do is I want to put this on here. And then I want to put this on here. So I'm going to grab another one of these little things that are coming in super handy. Where's my scissors? Oh, I could do that. Good call, Kelly. Good call. Let's do that. What about your new paint things you use? I don't have any red. The Nouveau Dots. I don't have any red. That would be perfect. 
Oh, but I have gold. Like, do you guys think gold would work or do you think it needs red? So let's have a little vote while I finish putting this together. Should I do gold dots or should I do red dots? Because I can color my rhinestones or I can use enamel dots. So let's see what everybody thinks. Whoa. A lot of glue came out of there. That's sticky. Okay. Joy. See how that wiggles around a little bit? And then let's add some adhesive. Chris said red. Gold, I think, might be too, like, I think maybe it needs another pop of color. It's pretty neutral. Oh, it has a lot of layers. Okay, lots of people said red. Okay, so let's look at this technique. So what you do is you grab your rhinestones and then you grab a blend. This is dark cherry cobbler. Now this will mess up the tips of your Oh my gosh, but it's gorgeous. It tends to fray the tip of your blend. Oh my gosh, this is too much fun. Now this is coloring I can get on board with. So then does it dry? Is, does anybody know? Has anybody done this? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, it does dry. Oh, everybody said red. Hey, Deborah. Okay, so I might need more of these. My, I broke my X-Acto knife tip. So I needed to change the tip, but. Oh my gosh, you guys. This might just have turned out perfect. Good call on the red. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. You guys, I can't believe I made this. You know what would have been pretty is to stamp red, the joy red, instead of early espresso. Don't you think? It does dry pretty quick, Donna. I'm surprised. Yeah, coloring those, it dried really quickly. And I'm just saying you can never have too many rhinestones. So yeah, every single place that there is supposed to be a circle, we're putting red rhinestones. You know what color rhinestones would be really pretty? Would be purple. Like Highland Heather. Yeah, these um, ended up being dry really fast. And we're going to need to color a few more. So that is another reason to have the blends, you guys. You can color ribbon with your blends. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can color rhinestones. I think this is a fabulous option to customize your rhinestones. Okay, so almost, almost done. Oh, I need one more. Oh, it works better if you use the brush tip. I feel like more color gets on there. Okay, perfect. Oops. Oh my gosh, how pretty is this? 
Okay, so I don't know if I'm a fan of the second layer stamping right here. I think maybe if it didn't have that and it just had the old olive as a card base and then the stamping, I think it would have been better. Hey, Mary. So then that's how it is. I don't know, you guys. Do you think that this should have would have been better if it would have been red? Or maybe even this. I don't know. I like the color combo. The early espresso, the crumb cake, and the old olive, I think, is really is a really pretty color combo. And look at those rhinestones, you guys. Oh my gosh, I just want to color these. Now let's try the purple. Okay, so which color is this? This is Dark Highland Heather. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, what other color can we try? Oh my God, Bermuda Bay. Ooh. I'm gonna spend all day coloring rhinestones now. Oh my gosh, look you guys, Bermuda Bay rhinestones. <laughs> How happy does that make you? I mean, come on, you guys. Look at that. C can you guys just see how gorgeous it is? Oh, my gosh. I love it. I've needed Bermuda Bay rhinestones in my life for a long time. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous. I wonder if yellow would work. Do I have a crushed curry, like a dark yellow? Oh, this is the melon, um, what's it called? Mango Melody. Okay, let's try this. Oh, it's pretty. This comes up really more, more yellow than orange, but that, ooh, that went right over my purple. Ooh, but that's pretty, right? Oh my gosh, this is amazing, you guys. How fun. I ruined that one because I went over it. Love this. Love it, you guys. So this is our project. So I will have a PDF for you guys and a photo of the project along with all of the supplies that I used for this card. I'll have that for you later today. I have to run to my kids' school because two of my kids are getting awards today at the um, assembly. So I have to do that this afternoon, and then when I get home, I'll do this. I'll take photos and everything and get it up for you guys. And then just FYI, I posted yesterday that there are several items from the holiday catalog. I think there's around 18 items that are expected to sell out as early as next week. So I put a photo up for you guys so you could see those items. One of the items, and I'm ordering some more of these today. Um, we, as demonstrators, are pre-ordering some stuff that's going to come out in the next couple weeks. We're in kind of a pre-order, um, and so I'm going to order a couple new items, and these are one of the items on the list, these buttons, and I have to get some more of these. They're amazing, and I really love them, so I'm going to get a couple more um, containers of these buttons. They're the um, galvanized buttons, and they're really pretty. So if you guys want any of the items on the list, don't wait to order them. Um, and you can always add Whisper White cardstock and envelopes to your order if you have nothing else to order and you're like, I don't want to put in such a small order. I kind of like to do that where even with Amazon where I get free shipping, I'll be like, well, I'm going to order like several items, you know. And so um, you can always add those. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I have a huge mess to clean up on my desk, so I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to run to my kids' school, and then I'll get a PDF up for you guys. And then over on my website today, you guys, is a PDF for the Simply Layered um a simply layered page. So I did a Christmas layout and there's a free PDF over on that on that post for you guys to print out if you want. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you later.